Destroy them all. Where's the team brought them to? robot smackdown and we have a sumo wrestling ring where they design a robot that um, objective is to stay in the ring but to knock the other robot out we teach the design process where they identify their problem um, brainstorm solutions and figure out a design then once they design they're going to test and they're going to fail and then they're going to redesign and we teach them to be good failures and successful failures and take what they've learned from their failing back into the design process again. Well, there's a program on the Mac laptops and they program with bricks and within those bricks can tell different parts of the robot to do different things, whether it's to move forward or turn or turn on a sensor or turn off a sensor. So all week they've learned to use different sensors and different um, way of thinking about how to use those parts of the robotics process. Oh, they are totally redesigning today and they have all kinds of appendages um, that may or may not be broken off, but they're having a great time with doing the design. Camp has gone really great. We've had over 320 kids come through the doors this summer, which is really amazing for our first summer. We have you know, multiple camps that were multiple days. Some were one day a week, some were two days, four days. Um, but we've had great attendance. We've had students and parents really excited, have great feedback, and we are really looking forward to having you know, additional camps next summer or maybe even during the school year. Um, I have one parent who emailed and said, my son says this is the best summer he's ever had. Um, we've got some kids who have come almost every week to camp and then when it comes time for them to not come the next week they're sad because they have to stay home and can't come to camp the next week. So we had a couple opportunities where we have some rising 8th graders who were really awesome and so we invited them to come back and volunteer with our camp invention last week um, as some outreach so they had a really good time as well. Uh, everything was based um, on STEM. We had for our iSTEM, UCM, we all STEM program, they were all based on the science standards. And then they all had math elements uh, as well as some engineering and technology depending on what the event was. We've had a lot of our teachers integrate technology when they came back in the afternoons and the students had to create some kind of project or use the internet to research us something further. Of course. And of course Camp Invention is, was all about engineering, um, like the cartwheel cam, they had to engineer um, shields and things that would go far, that would keep them dry. Um, the I can invent, you know, they got to take things apart and create their own game maze. And then of course with the Invention Project this week they've been doing robots, they've been doing some robotics, some circuits, working with LED lights and coin batteries and things that kids don't usually get to work with.
This week we have um, been doing Tech Savvy Girls and we have a group of 19 girls who we are introducing the STEM fields to. There are a lot of times that girls are underrepresented in these areas um, and we want to make sure that we expose them to different types of careers in STEM. We have been focusing on technology this week as well as we've had an overall theme for the week of self-esteem. So we've been working on a lot of different things under the umbrella of technology and STEM. Um, we've had guest speakers come in this week. We've had women in the community come and speak with us this week about um, having great self-esteem and the girls doing anything that they want to do, that they can put their mind to, they can do, um, and exposing them to lots of different things in the STEM areas. We have had a wonderful group of girls who um, they, and I'm assuming it's because of the iPads being in the elementary schools this year, they um, already knew a lot of stuff so we were able to dig a little bit deeper. Um, I think this has really opened their eyes to going into a lot of different things that they didn't think was possible. teaching the cartwheel lesson and it's all about working as a team so there are four teams um, in every group that comes to me and they are having different challenges so every day they'll have a different challenge um, to start with it's a water challenge so the first day it involved water balloons the second day um, we added wet sponges the third day um, which was today the squirt toys and they don't know what the added element is tomorrow um, but it gets a little bit more challenging and the winner of the hydro challenge gets the most points and they can use those points to then go to the hardware store um, which opens every day and that's how they buy their items to make their racers which they'll be racing tomorrow project we learned early on that we have to teach our students the skills to be brainstormers to think creatively to think outside the box um, to manage their time wisely because they've never had to manage their time they've never had to they've never had the opportunity to get up and move around a classroom so the whole lack of structure for those two particular camps you know was a little different because that's that's the way it's supposed to be. They're supposed to be thinking and learning on their own versus being direct instruction. So that was a little different for the students, but they have really blossomed and shown us how creative they can be. The door is going to have like, one side is going to have the bag, and one side is going to have the computer. Then I'm going to have my reindeer right here. Then I'm going to have the computer for the side to ring up my stuff. And I'm going to name it the Jones Door. We have been um, designing inventions. They had the opportunity to create an invention um, using their background knowledge and maybe some ideas from our design studio. And then they're basically creating an invention using um, upcycled materials that they brought from home. Coming up, there's one that is a, um, a hairbrush that puts out different products in your hair. We have some that um, one group has a machine that can give you any kind of food that you want. Um, we have some that are a solar energy. A lot of them have, have you have used their background from what goes on at the house or what goes what their mom and dad might do for a living. Uh, rolling for right now oh, and let's you get some beans oh, over here to Chris Crow. Oh, 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 oh,